Do you see this? This is a sign it's time to put out some bee traps. It's bee swarming time, March 20th up here on the farm. That is your bridal respirea. We've got some forsythia. And it's time to start catching some bees. You guys, hang on, sit back. I'm gonna show you what we do to catch bees and the luck we have them. Stick around. Okay, so the first trap we're putting out is just your standard nuke box, okay? This is from Brushy Mountain, I think before they collapsed, uh, but we love these. I've got two of these, and we are actually putting this in our apiary. Okay, so a lot of beekeepers will say, to me they have, why are you putting a swarm trap in your apiary? And the reason that I am is because the last two years we've caught swarms. Now, I don't let my bees all the time swarm, this is a mite resistant beehive that we have in this apiary. So in this hive, I have allowed them to swarm and try and catch them again. And if we don't, then we're just putting a mite free resistant uh, bee out into the world. Uh, so we're good with that. So as you can see, we're close to the beehive and I'm gonna put out uh, some swarm commander, okay? I'll spray a little bit here on the back. I'll spray, spray some in the front and we'll let it be. March 20th. Okay, so I've already got mine set up here. Already got my base. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna spray a little bit back here. And I'm gonna spray some right here at the front. That's it. I'm gonna put my cover board on. my top board we're good to go that's trap number one okay so this is the second type of trap that we use that we get the most luck on obviously I told you we've caught two traps in the past we have Mary my assistant right here with us today she is checking out what's going on um, so this is nothing more than two traps that I built you guys can find the plans online five frames okay I've got one in here that has a small amount of drawn comb. I really don't focus that much on the drawn comb because over the years, I've kind of found out if the bees want to be in it, they're going to be in it. I have put um, some really good drawn comb in some of my traps. I've come back and the um, moths have gotten in it and destroyed my trap. So I'm, I'm kind of iffy iffy on, the, on a lot of the drawn comb, but here we go. Here's the front. I'm gonna put this again, a little bit on that, and then I'm gonna hang it right here. Now this is facing south this way, and here's my front entrance, and I'm just gonna open that up. I'm gonna put my lid on top, okay? It's on there. And then I've got a bungee cord right here. And this is what I like to use. And I just undo this. And I wrap it around here. And I strap it onto here. Just for extra protection. So that's all that is to that. That's the other way. Everybody, I wanted to show you guys the trap that we're using. These are just some that I built. I've had for about five years. I've had a lot of luck with them. Um, easy, easy top takeoff. Um, I've got five frames in here. And uh, I've got some drawn comb, one drawn comb in here. That's it. I put that in the middle and that seems to work the best. Um, and then I've just got five, not, not brand new frames, but I've got five frames that are in here. Um, and then I've got my Swarm Commander, okay? And, and I, I can't really praise or down Swarm Commander. I don't know how much it works and it doesn't. I've caught some beehives or some swarms without any Swarm Commander with a high, with a uh, drawn comb. I've caught some with it, so I use it. And what I'll do is just spray a little bit here. And I wanna show you all, this is the winner on the traps, okay? You can order these online. Um, I think it's Blue Mountain Bee Supply. 
um, or you can get them on Amazon. But these are great because I leave it like this when I'm trying to catch bees. And when I go up and I get ready to take the beehive one night, uh, the swarm box, and take it back to the apiary, all I do is I just turn this and I take the bees. It's that easy. One thing that we did start doing uh, last year was putting this board on the back. And I love this because I can easily hook it and be done with it. And yes, it does go below this. The way that I have my apiary set up, if you can see in the first video uh, or the first segment that we did where I put the, um, the box in the apiary, you can just set this down and it's easy to do. I'll get the box, I'll get them built up and then I'll put them over into a big one and this stays on. So uh, let's go hang this box. Here we are, third trap, okay? Here's what I was telling you guys about. So I'm just gonna set this around to where it's open, okay? Facing south. I'm gonna take the swarm commander. I'm gonna put a little bit in the back, okay? Just enough to kind of get it going. I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna do some in the entrance and some on the landing board right there. That's really all it is to it. I'm gonna put this on. I'm not gonna bore you guys with putting a bungee cord on. Hey, I hope the video helped. That's gonna wrap up our bee trapping uh, Sunday evening. Uh, everybody have a great week, and uh, if you like the video, uh, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and uh, any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. Thanks again for watching.